All right, guys. Gonna be doing a different kind of video today. Gonna be doing a catch and cook of white perch. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. It's gonna be kind of different, kind of interesting. Hopefully uh, it works out pretty well. I'm pretty excited. It's hot, it's sunny. It's really hot and sunny. So I'll be out there in about 10 seconds. We'll see you guys in the water. All right guys, we get here to spot number one. And we're gonna see what's up. See if we can get some fish here. All right, using an ultralight, throwing a beetle spin, old school, started with the lipless, wasn't working too well, went to the beetle spin, caught a couple fish in spot number one. It just really was pretty lackluster. All right, guys, so I'm working this bait right now at a super slow retrieve, but this bait you can work however you really want. It's just personal preference. Just trying to see if we can find any fish close to this, this grass line here. It's so flooded, these fish are probably pushed way up in it. So we're gonna get a little closer and uh, see if we can catch some fish. All right, guys, just caught a tiny striper. Moved to spot number three. It's been slow. Tiny little striper. We'll take a little 13 inch or 12, 13 inch stripe. We found the fish. Back. No, that's no, 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 that's nice. Throw it to me. On our way to a catch and cook. We got one in the books. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I'm using a little lipless, micro, micro lipless. Throwing it up inside this little creek. Got him? Yep. There's one. Oh, that's close. I'm gonna check them. Check my numbers. See how close we are, guys. Right now, we're just getting so many close, just a little off. Oh, yeah, he's the same exact size as the last one. Just got to double up. Oh, he's got a good one, too. Good one. That's, That's definitely a good one. Yeah. Pretty well, I just caught. All right, guys, we're at spot number like five or six. There's a little bit of an inside look of our futile day so far. But whenever I've been pumping it, I've been getting bites. That's actually what we're looking for right there. All right. I don't remember. We got it in Delaware. Honestly, just don't move forward and then go out and do a big circle. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> they are munching this thing when I pump it. So right now, we've been fishing a lot of creek mouths. You know, it's been a flooded tide so far today. You know, the water's really pushed up. I think we're just starting to get the tide moving here. At least soon we're going to have the tide moving. We also have some storms coming in, so we're trying to get as many fish as we can before we have to make a move and get on out of here. But uh, it hasn't been a bad uh, day down in this spot, at least. The first couple spots are pretty miserable. I mean, one small striped bass is probably the whole highlight of the entire areas down there. There's one. Tiny one. This is uh, the majority of what we've caught so far today, guys. Not really impressive, but, you know, it's been uh, doable. Because we've caught a handful of nice fish. I mean, literally like six or seven, I think, now that we have in the cooler. Maybe eight. Hopefully eight. Probably not. Hopefully.
last batch. Here's what they look like. I'm gonna get a little more extent into this, but uh, it's about to pour down rain in about 35 seconds, so I only have a little bit of time to tell you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna eat this food. I might even go inside and do a little bit of an update about how it, how it tastes. Uh, I had a little bit of it already. It's really nice, really flaky. Um, that was lightning. I don't know if you saw it in the video, but I need to roll on into the house. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna show you some recommended baits for catching perch if you want to. We were throwing spinners, like beetle spins right here. This isn't the like grubber using, we're actually using little marabou jigs. And this, I'm just gonna show you this one. This is a, uh, I got, my tackle box is so messy. But this is a rip and wrapper polish, or both rip and wrapper polish. Uh, we were using a little bit smaller size, uh, lipless crank, but you get the idea. If you use something around this size or smaller, you can get a lot of white perch with this or with that beetle spin. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time on the water.